All right, let's post a positive video instead of talking about why YouTube is trash. What is up, you guys? It is your host, Avery, here bringing you guys the craziest FTK I have yet to see in this game <laughs> next to some Magical Explosion Chicken Game FTK that were really fun a couple years ago. <laughs> but this, ladies and gentlemen, which I found on YG Pro OTK's uh, channel, kind of edited it to my liking. This is Trickstar FTK. <laughs> so... <laughs> As you can see, we got Dark Room and Nightmare. We got Blazing Mirror Force Present Card, uh, Trickster Reincarnation. We got all the goodies here, you guys. So let's go ahead and explain what this deck is. So it's an OTK slash FTK. Most of you guys are probably be calling it an OTK just because you know you kill your opponent on their turn, but they don't really get to make any plays. Uh, and the reason for that is because of Lyco Criscia. Because each time a card is added to your opponent's hand, which includes drawing, so it's the same ruling as Ghost Ash, they take 200 points of damage. And Trickstar Light Stage makes them lose 200 more life points whenever a Trickstar monster you control inflicts battle damage or inflicts effect damage. So let's just go ahead and get into the deck list, and I'll explain everything after. So you got three Trickstar Candina, two Honest, two, uh, I'm just going to call uh, Riskia, I don't know how else to pronounce it, uh, one Lily Bell. Three Desires, three Double Summon, three Terraforming, three Into the Void, two Chain Summoning. It's actually pretty good in this deck. Three Dark Room and Nightmare, three Light Stage. Then we have three Reincarnation, three Present Card, two Blazing Mirror Force, and three Disturbance Strategy. Extra deck is not too pointless. It's here if you need it. And then the side deck is just kind of whatever you think might work better for you in the deck. So in case you guys don't know what Tricksters are, they're the new archetype coming out in Code of the Duelist uh, in August, I believe. You guys may have heard about them because of their trap card called Trickster Reincarnation. What it does is your opponent banishes their entire hand, and if they do, then they draw the same number of cards that they banish. And then you can banish it from your graveyard to target a Trickster monster in your graveyard and special summon it. So basically, you're going first, you set Reincarnation, they draw the six cards in hand, you activate Reincarnation, they lose all six of those cards to their banished pile, and then they draw six new cards. So they're known for being able to mill the opponent out fairly quick, and it's not once per turn like present card. Because present card, your opponent discards a whole hand, draws five, but you can only use one per turn. So let me kind of explain how this works here. So Candina, when she's normal summon, you can add a trickster card from your deck to your hand, and every time your opponent activates a spell or trap, they take 200. That's cute. Uh, Chrisgia, during either player's turn, you can reveal it in your hand, target a trickster monster you control except yourself to special summon it, and if you do, return that monster to your hand, and each time your opponent adds a card to their hand, uh, they take 200 for each. So basically the trick is that you want to activate something like reincarnation on the first turn when your opponent draws to six cards in hand, which is, is cute because when they go to draw for their sixth card in hand, they take 200 points of damage because they just added a card from their deck to their hand. Plus, if you have light stage on the field, not only do you get to add a trickster monster from your deck to your hand when you activate it, but then um, you can also, uh, every time a trickster monster inflicts effect damage, they take an extra 200. So they draw for turn, they take 200 from the Chrisgia, plus the light stage is another 200, so they just lost 400. And then you activate Reincarnation, they banish all six cards that they have in their hand to draw another six. So that means they're going to take 1,200 plus an extra 200 from the light stage. Now I know what you're thinking, Avery, 200 light points is nothing. If I wanted to inflict 200 points of damage, I would just play Sparks and decrease my opponent's life points by 200. But here's where it gets cute. So basically the, the field that you want to have set up is either two or three Riskia with a light stage. And if you happen to have it in your hand, then Dark Room and Nightmare. Then, if you have, like, let's say, three reincarnations in your hand and a present card, you would just set everything. Your opponent goes to draw for turn. After they take the effect damage from drawing, you would activate uh, the present card on chain link one and then all three reincarnations on chain links two, three, and four. So it's going to resolve backwards, and then all the times that your opponent draws, even while the chain is resolving, they're still going to take the effect damage from the Riskias and the light stage. And then. At the same time, if you have Dark Room and Nightmare on the field, Dark Room and Nightmare is going to make them lose 300 each time that they took burn damage. So you can get Dark Room and Nightmare up to like Chain 8 or Chain 11. It's pretty insane. Um, I'm going to try and show you guys some replays. I don't know if it's going to work because my replays have been really messed up. Um, but I'm going to see if I can get this one to work. Nightmare Chain Link 8. If it doesn't work, I apologize. Um, there's not really anything I can do about it, but we're going to try it here. If it doesn't work, I do apologize because it kind of freezes whenever you activate light stage. But basically, you activate light stage. Okay, yeah, so an error did occur. But you activate light stage, 
you search for the Canadia, you summon it to get Riskia, and you play double summon. So Riskia is going to activate, bouncing back the uh, Canadia you summon, bringing out Riskia. You activate double summon to get out Canadia. Keep in mind that you also got to search off of light stage, so you could search for, you know, or you would search for the Canadia, I'm sorry. So you play double summon, get out the Canadia again, get another Riskia, and you pretty much just burn your opponent from there. So it's a giant burn, small burn the deck. And it's fairly consistent. If you can get terraforming plus like a Riskia, that's pretty much game as long as you have enough cards in your hand to burn the opponent. So with all that being said, you guys, um, just wanted to make this deck profile. Make this and try it for yourself. If you want to see some replays, go to YGO Pro OTK's uh, channel. He has some good replays. Like I said, he got Nightmare or Dark Room and Nightmare up to Chainlink 11, and it's just, it, it's insane. Um, and I also sent some replays to Capital G, so hopefully he'll show those on his channel because this deck really is cancerous. But it's so much fun to play, you guys. So I highly suggest you guys try this out. Once you start playing it and kind of understand the combo, and see some replays, um, you'll understand how it works. But really, if you sit down with this deck and just try it out for yourself, it'll make sense. It just takes a little bit of getting used to. So thank you guys for watching. As always, let me know what you think about this deck in the comments below. It's so much fun. When you brick, you do brick. Um, two, three, four, five. Th this is kind of a good a good example of like a somewhat bricky hand because you don't have Canadia. Um, this is a good hand. You've got a good amount of draw cards, and then you got Honest for your six card, but you're usually going to be going first. And just play terraform and get the light stage and the light stage is stacked so like you can go light stage search light stage search you've got the two reincarnations in your hand so you're going to probably have two riskies on the board so yeah this is like what's considered a good hand so anyway thank you guys for watching as always and subscribe if you have not already